be beginning our reading at verse number three. I'm reading from the New King James translation. Amen. 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 And the word of the Lord God says, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you, for you with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, Amen. being confident that this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in Jesus. you, yeah. will complete yeah. it until the day of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. the Lord have a blessing yeah. to the readers, hearers, doers of our almighty Thank word. And we said amen. 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 We see this in his presence in the name of Jesus. My God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a word as well as a message in the name of Jesus. The word that I have for you tonight you so much, is complete. 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 Mm -hmm. While you're writing it down, why don't you touch to it for your people and tell them, complete. Mm. Hallelujah. You're not afraid of getting to touch them on the other side and tell them, complete. Name of Jesus. It's important, you know what I tell you. Whenever you get a word, you got to start. And it's, even if there's nobody behind you, you can have out the Holy Ghost complete. In the name of Jesus. I'm saying that because it's good whenever you begin to prophesy. And prophesy means to speak and to preach unto your own self. I don't know, but sometimes you got to get in the mirror and prophesy to your own self. And as the word of the Lord got said, complete. My cousin, because that's something that you need to understand that God's about to finish what he saw. That's exactly. Come on here, Pastor. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
one that really started this thing. And I'm going to finish it. I love that about God. Because the definition lets us know that when you're complete, it's entire, the whole thing. Everything, whenever you're going to be complete in God. You see, uh, if you have your fingers there, flip with me. Keep your finger in Philippians. Go to James chapter number one. I want your fingers to stay right there in Philippians. But in James chapter number one. Uh, uh, James chapter number one. Look, look at verse number, number four. James chapter number one. Just keep going further back into your Bible. You'll get it. Amen. Pass Hebrew. There we go. Pass Hebrews. You'll get to James. Yeah. Uh, and James chapter number one, verse four. It says, but let patience have its perfect, complete work. Come on now. Come on. That you may be perfect uh, uh, come on. and complete. And what, what's that word? Lacking nothing. I don't know about you, but the Lord God said in this yep. season, we're not going to lack no good things. Yep. Jesus. Lacking nothing. Matter of fact, I come by mm -hmm. that spirit of lack. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on. All of a sudden, you're full getting low. Oh, no. Come on. 
don't have that. Yeah. I want everything that's connected yes, to me to be operating full. Yes, Lord. I want you at your full potential. Yes, mm. I want you to be full even in your health. Yes, Amen. Yes, and you want to say it doesn't do any good to have, you know, like, you're feeling well and somebody else that you know feeling sick. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Because if you're the body connected to them, that's you feel bad too. That's exactly. Because you want them to be what? Whole. Oh. So the Lord God is speaking to us tonight. He's saying, I want to make sure that you are entirely complete, not lacking anything. God said, I don't want you to lack anything. It is one, I don't want you to lack in your finances. I don't want you to, to lack in your thoughts. I don't want you to lack Come in your on. health. I don't want Come you to on. lack in any area, not even spiritually. I don't want you to run around empty, not getting full. If you're going to serve God, serve him with your full heart. Don't give God half. Oh my God, give us everything that you have because God said, surely enough, the work that I started in you, I'm going to make sure that I finish it. And when God's going to do it, God's going to make sure that it is completely full. As we get into the text, the word of the Lord God tells us in Philippians, you know, the Apostle Paul is speaking to the Philippians, he said, being confident, my Lord. That's something that people, children of God, we need to be confident. It's important for you to know. You need to be confident as to who you are and who you belong to. I want to, that's why the enemy has a tendency to rob us. Because surely God told you that I'm going to be with you to the end. But as soon as the devil show up, that devil will put something in your head. You sure God going to be with you? Oh, that's how he told you. That's how he told you. You know, you don't know. You don't come with no bitch for You come to sit in your pocket. I see a lot of people, you think it ain't coming down. No, no. It'll be, you're like, where did that come from? The Lord God is saying, that's something about the enemy. He said, okay. you need to be confident. You see, that's one thing, even as a people, we need to learn to be confident in who we are yes, in God. Yes, God. Come on now. Be yes, confident in I am a woman of God. Yes. You know, I am yes. a man of God. Yes. When somebody goes around and they're doing a poll, are there any men and women of God? You should be the first one. Yes, yes I am. Yes. Yes. It's not about your exterior yes. appearance. It's your yes. godly yes. God yes. that's yes. within you. Yes. And I mean, like, they look around. They be surprised at the saints that they can find if they really look. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Be surprised because a lot of times, you know, they'll, they'll look around and they're any men and women and they look at all over and you're like, I'm right here. <laughs> you're overlooking the saint of God right here. I'm a child of God and I'm confident. You're like, wait a minute. You mean you're that confident? I may not know all the Bible, yes, but I know I know some of the words. Exactly. Yes, exactly. some better than none of the That's exactly. That's exactly. Oh, oh, the exactly church more. say amen. 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 It's better that you know something. Don't let the enemy rob you because I understand right. that all of us did. We didn't grow up knowing the Bible from cover to cover. Yes. And then some of you, the truth we made, know what my students say. Truth we made known because whenever we go to school and when you're studying, yeah. nine times out of ten when we're, go, when we're trying to pass a class. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I didn't say no because I said trying to pass a class. All of it, you'll skip, skip it. Yeah. Did you read it? Yeah, I did. Skip it. They asked you one question. What? <laughs> you didn't skim it enough, but, mm -hmm. but I'm letting you know. But see, so don't get all you know, bent out and you're like, well, Lord, I didn't read from Genesis to Revelation. You know what I encourage people to do? You read what God directed you to read. Amen. And stay there. If you stay in a chapter for a year, stay there. Right. I, I tell you what, I lived in Isaiah. I lived in Ezekiel. I lived in Daniel. I, I lived in it. That's why I know son of man. <laughs> I lived in it. Uh, sleeping on my side. Oh, so, and then turn over on this side for the other half of the year. You're like, wait a minute. That's when I began to read my Bible and my Bible read me. But anybody can skim through. My point I'm trying to make, don't get don't get discouraged if you're like, well, I don't know all when someone asks a question, do I know God? You should be the first one. Yes, I do. I have a personal relationship. He's a, he's a friend to me. He's a brother. He's a friend that sits closer than a brother. He's my beloved. You must understand him. He's the love of my soul. He's my friend. He's my mama. As well as my daddy. He's everything that I need of. He's my provider. He's my strength. And so if anybody ever asks you, don't be ashamed of it. Be confident. I come tonight to pray a word of to be confident in the people of God. Know who you are in God. Don't let anybody fool you or rob you of your full potential. And the Lord God said, the scripture said, we're joint as with Christ. That's right. And that means if God has it, I got it too. Amen. Because you need to start cutting. Daddy. You need to start claiming your victory. Because God said that you have it, but you're living below your means. Right. 
my but goodness. But I already declare and declare no lack. Yes, no lack. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. my God, no lack. I'm going to have everything that my daddy said I'm supposed to have. And Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the overflow. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. There it is. There it is. Yes, Lord. I believe in the overflow. Lord. It's the overflow. Believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. He said I'm going to do abundantly yes. above that's overflow. Yes, Lord. Yes. My God, I think we're going to do it completely working with God. But we got to learn how to be confident. Mm. Be confident that whatever God gives you a word, that God's going to hold true to his promise. Yes, he will. Be confident in that yeah, thing. Man. I come to cancel that assignment once again of lack and also that back and forth. Okay. Oh, come on Jesus. now. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Oh, I can't go that to your tongue. Some days I'm all right. Some days I'm all right. Come on. Oh, God said, you know, we need to get off the seesaw. Yes. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Uh, the up and down. Yes. Yes. You can talk yes. about it. Yes. Matter of fact, that is, it's amazing to me how yes. God will relate. That used to be my favorite thing in the playground. <laughs> Ron used to love me some seesaw. <laughs> what? Some people like never go around, but it's amazing what we went through. Yes, yeah. and it's <laughs> where we all get to the Lord. Wow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If yes, you like the merry go around, that's why you find yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but if you like the seat side, that's why you look today. I don't know. Look today. I used to love this some sea song. It's so funny. Yeah, yeah, you know when you sit there and you're trying to see who else is gonna get there to make you pop up? Yeah. Check it out. So <laughs> see, funny. in the natural we're like, okay, you know, that's something. But spiritually, I'm about to see what's gonna make what's gonna happen in my day to make me just get up. Come on. I had to learn that I needed wow. Jesus on the other day. Yes. Yeah. I had to learn that, you know what, I don't need nobody physically but spiritually. As long as the Lord God is on this thing with me, yes, he said, Lord. matter of fact, I don't have to go up and down. He just keeps me down. Right there. I told you I'm preaching the park. You better hold on. Lord. Because you see, a seesaw was something that I up and down. Yes. And God says He wants us to be balanced. Yeah, like and God. whenever God did that for me, I'm preaching to somebody up in here. The Lord God's trying to say it's no more of that up and down. Yes. That you need to be confident in who God called you to be. Yes. Thank you, Lord God. Not what they told you that yes. you are. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Okay. It's quiet wow. in the house. I, I don't act like I'm strange, but I know we've been called some names. Come on now. Some we don't answer to, thank the good Lord. Thank goodness we turn a deaf ear to those things. And I'm talking about idle words. And you're like, I'm not, they don't have to be, I'm not talking curse words, but words that spoke down to you. That spoke lower than your pedigree. You know what I'm talking about. Come on here. You'll never be this. You'll never, I, 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 I'm not receiving that. Anymore. I'm confident. I'm confident that he who has begun a good work shall complete. And I'm confident that I'm coming up out of this. That's it. That I think are going to be better. My yes, best God. days are up ahead. <laughs> yes, I have it all up in here. You're like, hey, I don't know how. I don't know yes, when. Yes, I, I, don't, I don't have all the details. But it. I'm confident yes, I'm it. coming out. I'm yes, yes, you know what I'm talking about. And you don't have all the details mm, right now. But you've got to be confident and know it. That surely, as long as God is on the throne, That's it. I think you've got to be balanced in this year. This is when things begin. That's it. Lord. Jesus. That's it. Because see, when God said, many of us were like, well, you know what, Lord, I'm at to the end of myself. He said, well, bless God. It's so good. Mm. You know why? Because when we get to the end of ourselves, he can begin his world. Yes. Lord. 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 Have you been praying that, Lord God, this is the end? And Lord God said, well, thank God you've come to it. <laughs> so why? Because now I can start doing what I want to do in you and through you. Because see, as long as you were driving, we have to go where you want to. We have to do what you want to do. 
As all you already know, as long as you're going to be driving, then apparently you're the Lord's a passenger. And there's nothing wrong with it. God said, he'll be your passenger. But I've learned a long time ago, allow him to drive. That's it. Take the wheel, boy. Allow him to drive. I'll be the co-pilot that you be driving. I'm learning somebody. I'm preaching to somebody. Learn to get out of the driver's seat. And sit in the passenger seat. And enjoy the view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's beautiful. 
that my father knows my plans. Yes. I, I love that about him. That he knew he already began the work. See, he said, I knew that there would be a people that you need to minister to. Yes. I knew there'd be a, a, a family that would be in need. Yes. I knew that there would be men or my women goodness. that needed counsel. And that, that, is something, that, that is something surprising to him. Yes. He said, I knew this would occur. So I already began. So I put the hunger in you because, see, you can never give out what you don't have. Amen. Oh, Amen. And you wonder, you're like, oh my God, those, those are the best teachers, right? That's because they were, they were the they were the student at one time, yeah, yeah. and so whenever they absorb, then they are able. To, oh, come on now, yeah. the same thing with the preacher, same thing with the because of uh, the questions that you are asking are truly the questions that are going to be asked of you. Yes. Amen. And then truly, for you to have the answer, you're like, oh, you know what? God, you walk me through that thing. I remember that. I remember what it felt like. And the Lord God allowed you to turn around and minister that same word. I'm here to tell you. God said, I began a good work. So if you're sitting here tonight, it's not by accident you passing by keys to the kingdom of miracle crusade. It's not on your way to glory. I don't know if this word you'll remain, but it's not by accident I want you to know that much. Because God does not make accident. There's no accident. To me. There's no coincidence. With That's right. Belief. That's right. That's right. Surely, if you stopped by here, God said, I needed you to be right here. Yes, Lord. You walked in the door tonight, the Lord said, I needed you here tonight. Yes. I needed you here tonight for you to be confident to know that what I promise you will come to because I've already begun the work. I've already started. See? I've already started the projects. I've already started. See, that's why you got to keep dreaming. Tell your neighbor, keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. My God, you got to keep dreaming. Keep those dreams flowing. You know what? Dreams are prophetic. Lord. Well, see, some, see, individuals don't like to hear about that, but I, I, that's how my relationship with the Lord got. If God is showing it to me, it must be a reason why he's showing it to me. And so if he's showing it to me, I'm going to write it down. Yes, and if I'm going to write it down, then I'm going to lay on what? Yes, Lord. You're like, well, I'm going to go before the Lord with it. Amen. There are plenty of things that are happening right now that were written down in my dream journal. Amen. Yes, I do dream. Them. You know, back in the music, oh, I got my diary. Well, yes. I tell you what, the Lord I said, turn your diary into a dream journal. Amen. Yes. Uh, you, you'll see the blessing that come out of it. You'll see people that you're praying to be saved all of a sudden saved. And come on, Pastor. Come, come on, on, Pastor. Come on. Hallelujah. So you definitely got to, I began a good work. Everything that you think that you're starting on your own, the Lord God said, you know, I began that work. I started that. I was the one that made you hungry. You see, nobody else in your family was coming to church, but now everybody's coming. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm like, wait a minute. He who has begun a good work. So he put the hunger inside of you. He put the hunger inside. It wasn't, it was more than, you say, come see your man. Mm. Mm, that's what the scripture said. The woman at the well said, yeah, come oh, see. Yeah. Come yeah. see a man who told me everything about myself. She was talking about she, she met the Lord at the well. It was on purpose. Do you realize divine connections and divine me? Mm. I'm trying to let you know that he has begun a good work. Shall continue it. Yeah. You didn't just walk by him. The Lord God allowed you. You met sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so to get you right here yeah. on yeah. purpose. Lord. Yeah. That's Lord. Yeah. That's Lord. So God can minister to you. So you can receive that and go minister to somebody else. Come on, come on. Oh my God. You see, but you gotta be confident that God's gonna God's gonna work in you. You gotta be confident that God's not gonna leave you right where you are. And that there's something greater up ahead of you. In the name of Jesus. I believe that. I believe something that. greater up ahead of you in the name of Jesus. I believe that. You gotta be confident of this very thing that he who has begun the good work will complete it. That means God's going to make sure the entire thing is taken care of, not just part of it. That's what that's what I love about God. If you believe in God for something, God's not just going to give you one thing. God's going to give you everything that's connected to you. In the name of Jesus, thank the Lord God. It is so important. What good is it to have a good vehicle and don't have a, don't have a home to pull it up at? Come on, come on. We're talking about a 